I cannot believe what I find on my TV screen from time to time. What is the craziest thing you have found on your TV screen? Comment below. Let's see if you guys can do one up on me. Having a clean screen in your house with kids is nearly in possible. Greasy little fingers leaving tiny little dots everywhere on your screen. It's so crazy how they have to always touch everything they see on the screen. I bet yours hasn't tried to drive a car on yours yet, have they? Let's get a little bit more serious. What you put on your TV monitor or screen is really important. You can't just use anything you want to. So I'm going to show you guys real quick how to clean your TVs and you could probably use the same process on your computer monitors. Screen cleaners are easy to come by. You can buy them pretty much anywhere. They are just so pricey. Why do you guys want to go and spend all this money on screen cleaners when you can use pretty much what you have in your home and cost you nothing? Okay, so you can try heavy breathing onto your screen and wiping it. I wouldn't suggest this. So let's do it my way. I have three easy steps for you and we're going to start with number one. So for step number one, I have a duster. This duster is a really soft duster and it will not scratch the surface of my screen. So for a dusty screen, all you're going to do, fold it in half and give it a wipe. Starting from the top, I would go along the top of the screen all the way to the right. Bearing in mind, I do still have stickers on my screen. Husbands, he refuses to remove them, so please ignore those. And then I will just keep going down in like an S pattern until there, until I get to the bottom. That is how you will just dust your screen off. That is step one. However, my screen is a lot dirtier. Dusting it's not going to help. So I would still suggest using this step before you do step number two. For step number two, we have just dusted it and now we are going to take a microfiber cloth and just some distilled water. All I've done is added the distilled water into a spray bottle to make it convenient for me. If you do not have a spray bottle, you can just dab it on, but please make sure that it's damp, not sopping wet. You're probably wondering why we're using distilled water. Well, that's because a lot of people have hard water in their taps. What is hard water? Hard water contains salts of calcium and magnesium. And it can be really harsh on your monitor or your screen. So it's best to rather avoid using water from your tap. Not everybody has hard water. You can go and research it and find out if you have soft water. However, to be safe, just use distilled water. Whenever you're going to clean your screen, always make sure that you switch it off. It's just a little bit safer when you're working with water. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your water and you're going to spray it onto your cloth. And just spray until it's damp. Now that it's damp, you're going to go back to your screen. And going from one side to the other, I'm just going to go halfway like this in an S pattern all the way down my screen. And then I'm going to move over to this side and do the same. Now that you've done that, you can take a dry microfiber cloth, go over it and give it a dry. In my case, we're going to move on to step three because I have a really dirty screen. We are going to add some dishwashing liquid into our water. Just a real little bit of dishwashing liquid, add it into that distilled water and you will do the same process again. I'm just going to use some Morning Fresh and add maybe just a little squeeze. Close my bottle. Give it a bit of a shake. And now going in with my cloth again, directly onto the cloth, not onto your screen. Spray until it's damp. And then you're going to go back over. I like to use the S pattern, so I'll just go like this. And I'll move on to the next section. One of my Bad marks is right over here, so I'm just going to go over it gently, do not scrub. Now I'm going to go back in with a dry cloth and I'm going to give it a wipe.
And there you have my clean screen. No streaks and no oiliness on the screen. It looks absolutely so much better. If you take a quick look from the side like this and look down, you'll be able to see if there's still any marks on the screen and you can just go back over it again. But guys, my screen is now clean and I think we need to get into what not to use on your screen. So number one, water from your tap. We've discussed this one already. Hard water, not good for your screen. Stay away from it. Rather use distilled water. Number two, stay away from any wooden based products. These could be toilet paper, tissues, even paper towels. You won't believe how bad they're off your screen. And anything that has got some kind of abrasiveness to it. Rather avoid those, just use your microfiber cloth. It is much better to use on your screen. And the worst thing you could possibly do is take out that glass cleaner that you use on your glass windows to use on your screen. Stay away from it. They have ammonia in them and you really do not want them on your screen. Over time, it's going to dull the look of your screen and it really is not good for them. So please avoid that or any surface spray. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go check out this video on shower cleaning. Here, I tried out two TikTok hacks. Go check it out. So now that you can see me cleaner on your screen, go check out some more of my videos. Till next time.